Hello. As you know, I went to Disney. It's going to be a video reviewing the four part quest the hotel I stayed at. And today we are going to be talking about Animal Kingdom and Epcot. First, Animal Kingdom. It's, okay, definitely the weakest part. There's only four traditional rides. The rest of the stuff's okay and good to show off the animals in their natural habitat. But most of the park is just walking around. But I will give you one thing. It is the best park to walk through and just look at the stuff. Because everything looks so real like it could be, like, it has this fantastical element and the realism, and it mixes them together, and it's beautiful. The only park that gets close to this would be Hollywood Studios, but one, it doesn't have the fantastical element, and two, um, it's brought down by Toy Story Land and um, the Star Wars one being different themes. I mean, they're good themes, but now Epcot. It is great for rides. All the ones I rode, I like. I like how there are two parts of Epcot. The part which is just a futuristic land, which is just a bigger tomorrow land, and the culture country ports. But the bad part about the country ports are that I feel like some countries just have more space than others, and some of them get rides and some of them don't. Um, yeah, I mean, the countries don't really mesh together. Like, you go from Mexico land, and then you walk to the next one, which I forgot. I mean, if you look behind you, you can see, like, a whole different area. That looks nothing like the area you're in. So. Okay, next time I'm going to talk about the river, um, the hotel I stayed at. Which was the French Quarters in Riverside. Hotels. Bye.